Thank you kindly, Piper. That was so well played, I could hardly see your fingers moving. The address to the haggis. Fair for your honest, sonsy face. Great chieftain of the pudding race. Aboon them all you tack your place. Pinch, tripe or therm. Willie a word do you have a grace as long's my arm. The groaning trench are there ye fill. Your hurdies like a distant hill. Your pen would help to mend a mill in time of need. While through your pores the dews distill like amber bead. His knife, see, rustic labour dight, and cut you up with ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like ony ditch. And then, what a glorious sight, one reeking rich. Then, horn for horn, they stretch and strive, deal tack the hindmost on they drive. Tell all their wheel swelled kites belive are bent like drums. Then, old Goodman, most like to arrive, be thank it hums. Is there the o'er his French ragu, or oleo that would stow a sow, or fricassee would mack her spew with perfect scunner? Looks down with sneering, scornful view. On sick a dinner? Poor devil, see him o'er his trash, as feckless as a withered rash. His spindle shank a good whiplash, his neave a knit. Through bloody flood or field to dash, oh how I'm fit. But mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread. Clapping his wally neva blade, he'll mack a whistle. And legs and arms and heads'll sned like taps a thristle. Ye powers will mark mankind your care and dish them out their bill of fare. Old Scotland wants nae skinking wear that japs in luggies. But if you want her grateful prayer, give her a haggis. The haggis.